Hi there and welcome to Rates My Cigar. Today I'm going to be smoking a Hoyo de Monterey and this is the Epicure Especial. Now this is a tube and um, if you guys have ever seen one of these in a tube, the tubes are very well made, very nice tubes. Um, and I do like the tubes that you get from these. Now I'm just going to get them like this. <coughs> so this um, Hoyo de Monterey this has been sat in my humidor for, it's, it's got over a year of age on it. Um, now this is a, it's a 50 gauge cigar. It is six and a half inches in length. Sorry, five and a half inches in length, I mean. Um, now this, this is 41 pounds in the UK. That is, it's definitely not a cheap cigar now. Now there is a little bit of damage on the foot of this cigar, but that isn't going to put me off from smoking it. Let's see. Very creamy straight away. And um, you get that with a lot of the Hoya de Monterey's. really good amount of smoke production now I believe the last time I had one of these probably about a year just over a year ago and this was my second ever Hoyo de Monterey um, and my second ever Cuban I ever had that I actually managed to smoke the D4 was the first but I had a problem with it but this first one was the Epi number no. 2 the Hoyo de Monterey and then had one of these and I just fell in love with Cuban cigars. So far I'm getting this light, fruity, earthy, grain cracker possibly. No spice at all and it's it's not creamy, it's just this very smooth, it's just, yeah, it's very good. Mm. So, when you look at the, um, compare this to some of the other Cubans, <coughs> size for price, we are going to be doing a video very shortly, sort of discussing the prices and stuff with these cigars, but with this this cigar is 41 pound something in the uk now that isn't the tube the tube would make it probably about 44 pounds something when you compare it to like the h upman magnum 50 that's roughly the same size being the same gauge that there is i believe magnum 50 was 54 pounds so it's an extra 10 pounds so it's almost 10 percent dearer uh, sorry 20 five percent there or even um, but that is a cigar I do like to smoke and I also do like these cigars as well and the reason I haven't had one of these in such a long time I've literally got a couple left and I haven't managed to find any to replace them or to put into my humidor. There's just very low stock of these cigars at the moment and there has been for the last year or so. But, mm, it's very good. This is, this is extremely smooth. I don't remember him being this smooth. <clears throat> Obviously, letting them rest for that amount of time extra has made a difference. So we're into the second third now, and this cigar, very, very smooth. Very, it's like a fruity, 
yeah it's like a fruity there's earth there's definitely some earth there I don't think there's any seed or if there is it's so minute I'm not getting it at the moment I thought I had some graham cracker earlier all that along that sort of note now I mean I don't know if that is there or not now um, I don't remember this being at all what I'm getting right now <clears throat> um, there was a bit of damage on the foot the, the draw on it I did touch up a little bit but that's not down to the actual everyday one of these cigars there was some damage on this one but to be honest very good very good Now, the spice is there, but it's at a one very, very small amount. I've just got this very, this creamy, smooth, fruity. It's more fruity than creamy, but there's a little bit of creamy there, but. A little bit of cocoa on the uh, in the background the fruity note is such such a pleasant note to be honest and that's sort of on the roof of my mouth tip of my tongue even on my lips mm. so we're into the final third now and the second third was very very good and it was very enjoyable um, I was really getting like a fruity it was a little bit tangy occasionally but very fractional but it's fruity and it's good um but it's like a creamy fruity with maybe a little bit of cocoa or coffee in the background but it's very very small hints of it and unless i'm really trying to pick up the notes i wouldn't i wouldn't have got it um but i'm i'm sure it is there um i do remember the stick smoking these before and they there was a bit more of the I think it was coffee and leather and stuff but that's that's gone so far it's just very smooth and it's got some earth there and it's just it's hard to distinguish the notes so I'd say it's maybe it is complex maybe it, yeah um, but it's it's a light cigar this this would do any anybody sort of any occasion really from outside on a hot day a sort of a mid-morning stick or an evening stick you know with a cocktail or a whiskey you know or with a group of friends this this stick was so far is just that's what it is smoke production on this is very good as well the burn um, it did go a bit skew if but it's just pulled itself back pretty much um, I can't fault it it's 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 good it's very good coming up to the end of the final third it's just been very enjoyable <clears throat> very good very consistent all the way through there's the construction of the cigar is very good the smoke production there was a bit of damage but i can't hold that against the cigar um the burn line corrected itself i mean it's a little skew if not perfect but i only touched it up once halfway through the fruitiness is ramped up a little bit more it's got a little bit there's a little bit of spice there now there's some earth i think it is coffee i keep change of mind if it's cocoa or coffee through the cigar I keep getting hints of it I think it's a little bit of coffee there or it could be both and I'm detecting them as well so um, it's a tough one that is it's either cocoa or coffee so the spice is about maybe a two and a half really on my tongue my lips 
but we are coming to the end and some of these cigars do get a little bit spicy towards the end or they at least ramp up a little bit this one's just ramping up i think um i think when i get right close to burning my fingers it will step up again being sort of a little bit spicier but don't like spicy cigars but i will enjoy that because it's not going to be too much I think that's I think that's it really um, it's a light cigar um, this did smoke a lot quicker than I was hoping if I'll be honest and um, that unless I've enjoyed it and I just haven't been paying attention um, I didn't actually time it but it, it felt like a quick cigar um, compared to normal with a cigar that's a 50 gauge and sort of five and a half inch but it has been very good so I think I'm just gonna rate this cigar the Hoyo de Monterey Epicurus Special, we have decided, is going to go there. And that is, oh that's interesting, that's just above the so other just Hoyo. Just above the other Hoyo as well, so yeah. <laughs> above them clinging next to each other. Yeah, see, above, above the, D4. the D4. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, I mean Epi 2 and D4 are pretty much on par, aren't they? Yeah. And the, the Epicure Special, I just thought had some really nice notes. It, was, it so. they had that little bit extra, I thought. That's yeah. why I think it does deserve to go, you know, a couple of spots higher. So there you have it. That's uh, that's where we're on the board. Um, to be honest, when I started smoking this, I had no idea what I was going to be getting because I just couldn't remember what this was like. I know I enjoyed them. I know I liked it the first time. Um, sorry, not the first time. The last time I had one. Now... It is does remind me of the Hoya de Monterey, the, the I think it's the Palmas, um, but it is different again. And I did like that cigar. I'm I will be looking out for buying some of these um, and putting some in the humidor. Hmm, it's very good. So. All I can do is say that's the end of the video. Please subscribe, please give us a like, give us a comment below. Have you had one of these cigars? What do you think this is going to be compared to like the the Epi number two or the uh, or the or the Hoya de Monterey, the Epi Epicure number one? Please give us a comment below and uh, let me know what you think. So we'll see you in the next video.